نستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. We give thanks to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala we ask for his salat and his salam and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inshallah we continue the reading and explanation from the book Al-Fiqh Al-Muyassar fi Dawl Kitab wa Sunnah. قال المصنفون الباب الثاني في الربا ان شاء الله uh, tonight we begin the the second major topic under the discussion on the transactions in islam and this second uh, major topic has to do with riba the usury the concept of the riba the ruling of riba and various kinds or types of riba in this lab the authors of the book said al mas'alatul ula ta'rifu ar riba wa hukmu the first discussion on this will be on the meaning and the ruling of riba. A riba filloga. A riba is an Arabic word from roba, roba, which means zada, riba aziada. When we say something rubber, it means that thing get increased. Riba is an increase, an increase in something. Washari'a, the meaning of riba in Islamic perspective. Ahadu aw ziyadatu ahadi al badalain al mutanajisain. Uh, this is an increase on two on exchanging of two same kinds an increase in exchanging of two same kinds of products without any service or any compensation to relate with that increase what the author said in a simple way is that riba will come in between two things and these two things will be of the same origin while the two things one of them will have increase the other one will not have increase so if one has increased and the other does not have but it has what we call Ewad. Ewad can be another increase from the second object or can be in form of service can be anything that can stand in place of that increase so if both uh, same objects have increased there's no riba this one has increased this one has increased there's no riba that means they are the same but if this one has increased and this one does not have so that the little that this one uh get increased above this one is what we call a riba so, but if this one has the same thing, has another increase, 
as this one has increased so no no, no issue or this one has increased why this one that does not have we have something to compensate that increase there is no riba some scholar will say that riba is when we ask for increase on what sharia does not ask us to ask for increase to ask for increase on any dealings or transactions or any exchange that sharia does not permit us to have increase that increase that we have on our own personal ground will be riba will be riba hukmuhu was the ruling of riba a riba muharram fi kitab allah ta'ala riba is forbidden muharram means something that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rules should be forbidden and we know when something is ruled to be forbidden the implication is that whoever that get close to it will be punished it may be a reason for someone to enter another the air fire it may be the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be angry or is angry with the person so muharramat are those forbidden things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed his wrath his cause on whoever that comes close to it just like the case of zina illegal sexual intercourse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wala taqrabu az-zina don't move close to zina inna wa kana fahisha wa sa'a sabila zina is fahisha is evil practice wa sa'a sabila and is the is is a bad way for someone to, to stand or to be upon so we have muharramat those things that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made forbidden and that's the opposite of what we call al-wajibat al-mamurat those things that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has pleased to be what obligations you have to do it like salat five daily prayers like fasting the month of ramadan so the opposite of do it is don't do it the opposite of don't do it is do it do we get it now so whatever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ruled to be what to be muharram to be haram to be forbidden that means we must not do it and whatever he has made to be wajib it means you have to do it you have to do it so the author said riba is haram is haram muharram fi kitab allah what means to be haram is found in the quran when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa ahalla allahu albi'a wa harrama arriba allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says quran chapter 2 surah al-baqarah verse 275 wa ahalla allahu albi'a allah has made the bear here is not buying and selling because the essence of buying and selling is what profit when you want when you go to market to sell or when you want to sell anything any item the essence of selling is what profit so it's that profit that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends to use the word albaya wa ahallallahu albaya yani wa ahallallahu arribha allah has made lawful permissible for you what albaya that is the 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 profit the gains the gains of transaction waharrama ariba and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well made upon you forbidden upon you ariba ujuri when you look at it profit is an increase on the capital 
profit. It's an increase on the capital. You have 10,000 Naira. You pull it in the business. Then, at the end of the day, after buying and selling, so the 10,000 becomes 15,000. The 5,000 on top of it is an increase. But, see, what's the ruling of that increase? Wa ahalallahu albiya. Allah permits that increase. And that is why businesses are one of the most lawful means for a Muslim. Businesses. Yes. To involve in tijara. Because any increase on capital through business, through buying and selling is lawful. But any increase where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not approve increase that's what we call riba. Do we get it now? So both profit and interest or usury, they are increased. Some people may beat that analogy or any argument. They may raise argument. Look, when you are saying that usury is an increase that is forbidden, okay, why? What of the, the profit on businesses? This is the verse. Wa ahallallahu al biha. Wa harrama. Ariba. That's one verse. Another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayuwa ladina amanu. Oh, the believers. Taqullaha. Fear Allah. Be pious to Allah. Wadharu ma baqiya mina riba. Leave the remnant of usury for you to take. To eat. In most cases, people eat riba. They eat riba. Not that they eat riba like this, but that is the reason why people involve in riba is because of their mouth. What they want to eat. That does not mean that some people do not use the usury or riba for any other uh, worldly benefit. But in most cases, for what they want to eat. So whatever that is remaining for you to eat of riba, Allah said, Wadharu. If truly you are believers, you have to abandon it. Then Allah says, the continuity of that verse, If you don't desist from eating ujuri, riba, if you don't desist, then you declare war. Yes, yeah, ready to fight against Allah and his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Allah says wa in tubutum but if you seek repentance from Allah you do away with the remnant of usury riba for you to take wa lakum ru'usu amwalukum ru'us amwalukum you are the one you are entitled to the profit on your capital Allahu akbar so that is why we must do away with any form of riba. We must not get close to it. Yes, we must not get close to any form of riba. This uh, verse or verses, there are other verses in the Quran also, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it to be haram. Many verses. These are just two of them. Wata Subhanahu al Mutaamil bi riba bi ashad al waid. They said, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala tawaada as promised, as prepared, a very severe punishment on whoever that takes riba, or whoever that operates with riba, or whoever that allows riba in his transaction. Allah says, Alladhina yaakuluna riba Those who eat riba, as we said, hey, because mostly the reason why people go into riba is what? Because of their food, their mouth. Yes, they may use it to get just three months or two months now. I read it in a post that someone that operates on POS, just because of the hardship of this country, just two, three months, he made a huge amount of money that fetched him 
Islander 2015. Just two months or three months. Subhanallah. <laughs> How will you preach to him that river is haram? He will just look at you. Who is talking? <laughs> Subhanallah. So Allah says, Alladina ya kuluna riba, those who take usury, whether you take it for food, you take it for clothing, you take it for for cars, for buildings, for whatever reason. Allah says, La ya kumuna, la ya kumuna. On the day of judgment, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will command the angel to blow the trumpet, Kumu! All of you stand up from the graves. Everybody will stand up. The first person to come out from the grave is who? Prophet Nam? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Why the first person to be to be clothed? Who? About Ibrahim alayhi salam. Maybe you go for exam one day in, in this <laughs> hour. <laughs> so Allah says, Aladina ya kuluna riba, those who take collect, eat, give witness to Ujuri. La ya kumuna. When people are standing up from their graves, they will only stand up, those people, the eaters of riba. Illa kama ya kumu ladi ya taqabbatu ashaytanu min al masi. They will only stand up as someone that shaitan touches. Abdullah ibn Abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma said they will stand up like majanin, mad people, mad people. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not make us mad. It's better for someone to be a mad in this world than to be the mad in the year after. Abi, if one is a mad person in this world, Allah will not query him of his negligence, his irresponsibility to the, to the, to the services of Allah during the period of madness. Do you get it? Aha. Uh -huh. So Allah will not query him. So it's just, it's just as a bonus for you. Continue with your madness. Nothing, Allah will not query you. Except what you've done before the madness come. But on that day, subhanallah, madness has no excuse. And those who wake up as mad people, they are those who collect, give, witness, they eat. In any way or the other, they involve in injury, uh, usurious uh, transactions. And I say that they will wake up. Abdullah ibn Abbas said they will wake up as Majanin. That is the plural of Majunun. Majunun means mad person and insane. Majanin is the plural. Some scholars said they will wake up as who? As those who, who, who need Rukia. Rukia. You know, there are some people they need Rukia. <laughs> Their own is not a psychiatric problem. They need Rukia. They have been attacked spiritually. Eh? When you ask them to go to Ibadan, they go to Janakwaja. They misbehave. So some people will wake up on the day of judgment like mad people. Why? Because they collect, they give, the witness to Ujuri. Quran chapter 2, verse 2, 75. This author said, I la min kuburihim. They will not stand up from their graves. In the bath, at the time of resurrection, illa kakiyam al masrur, just like someone that has that, that, that is mad. Then they said, "Hala tasrihi wa dalika lita da khumu butunihim bi sababi akil muriba fi dunya because their bellies, their bellies are filled with what, with ojuri. Subhanallah, and that's one of the reasons why." we need to look at the sources of our income. Yes. There is hardship. Yes. Things are not going the way we expect. But at the same time, as conscious Muslim, you need to be conscious 
of your sources of income. What do you eat? What do you take? What do you buy? What do you yoke? Everything you have to be conscious of it. The way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has rendered to be unlawful, don't look for the means of sustenance from it. Don't let that be the source of your uh, sustenance. وَعَدَّهُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ وَسَلَمْ لِلْكَبَائِدِ Taking of injury, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam counted it to be part of what? Al-Kabahir, the major sins. You know Al-Kabahir? Yes. For someone to free from Kabahir, that person need sincere repentance. And the sincere repentance that the person needs requires certain conditions. Not like your, any ordinary sin. Asafullah. Mm. For Kabira, for major sin. Yes, it requires certain steps that you have to take. That is why Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ijtanibu as-sab'a al-mubiqat. Ijtanibu as-sab'a al-mubiqat. Run away from seven destructive actions. One of them is what? Arriba. Actually, riba. Taking of riba destroys the taker and it destroys the givers and it destroys the witness. The witness, the, uh, the accountant general or general accountant that witness to riba. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to rain his cause his wrath on whoever that operates on usury ala ayi halin kainu ala ayi halin kainu on whatever they use as a means of operating with usury fa'ana jabir radiyallahu anhu qal jabir said la'ana rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Ah, kill a riba that the messenger of Allah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam la'ana ask Allah to to, to, to take his, his blessing away on whoever that takes riba ask Allah to rain his wrath his cause on whoever that, whoever that takes riba wa mokila and the one that gives and the two witnesses, even if they are more than two, because in most cases there will be two witnesses, at least two witnesses. One witness from, from Akil Uriba, another witness from who? Mokila, from Teka, from the giver. Elijah, who is your witness? Ah, this is this, this is my lawyer. <laughs> Elijah, who is your witness? This is my lawyer. The lawyer, the witnesses from for both. So the same punishment, the same wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the giver and the taker, the same punishment will be on the witnesses to riba. This is what Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Wum sawa, all of them, they are the same thing. Wa al ala tahrimihi. So we have evidences from the Quran, from the hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now that is why there is no any one of the scholars of Islam that does not see riba as haram. All the scholars of Islam. Yes, Ijma, there is a consensus of the scholars on that. The only way, I mean, the only uh, angle where the scholars of Islam differ is on the revival products, the products of riba. But all of them agree. The riba is haram. Okay. What are the revival products? What are the products of riba? They agree on some products. On some products, they, they differ. But there's no any scholar that you will ask. All of them will say that riba is haram because whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed to be haram, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam placed to be haram, none of the scholar will say it is not haram or it is, uh, uh, we differ on that. None of the scholars will see that. That is why Al Imam Malik Rahimahullah 
Imam Malik Rahimahullah, Imam Dalil Ijra. For us to know that the scholars, they, they didn't play with any issue that has to do with riba. Someone, during the time of Imam Malik Rahimahullah, someone saw a man drunk. Falling, rising, falling. No, no, when someone is drunk. Hey, Guru, that's good to that's the gilly. And the person was rolling on the floor. That person that saw him now said, Ah, because we, um, and that thing can also, uh, the, the, the feeling also can affect you as a human being. When you see a father falling into gutter. And it's not your father. You never pray that such a, a, a thing should happen to you, let alone to talk of have, happen to your, to your parent as well. So when this man saw this man falling, uh, moving zigzag because of uh, because of alcohol that he took, he said, ah, this is the worst set of sin. There is no sin that is worse as this one. He said, if anybody can give him, can mention to him a sin that is worse, like the taking of alcohol, which he believes that there's no any sin, is ready to divorce his wife. That means he has pronounced tolak. But that tolak is what is hanging until someone will provide answer to it. The scholar will say, At tolak wal mu'allak. Tolak, tolak mu'allak, you say, when you tell your wife that, hmm, any day I come home and I don't see food on my table, I divorce you. Hey, it's a talak wal mu'allak. Some of us that we like food, we don't use, don't say that. But when you come home one day, there's no food. You don't need to say I don't know. No, I don't mean it. Hmm. You, you you said it. So talak talak wal mu'allak. Hanging, hanging talak. So the man hangs, the, the man hangs the talak on his wife. If someone can provide him a sin that is worse as what? As taking of alcohol. Imam Malik Rahimullah had that. He went to his library, reading, 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 making research. Then he came to Davas. That Allah says, Ya Ayu Lazina Hamanu, O the believers, Taqullah, fear Allah, wa daru mabaki amina riba in kutumu minin. Do away with the remnant of Ruba. If you are truthful, if you are believers, if you refuse, you still want to eat more of Ruba, declare war. Challenge Allah and His Prophet for war. Mama Aliki said, Yes, I've seen it. Go and call the man. Afa, come. He said, If anybody can provide you a sin that is worse than I've seen you. It is riba, taking of riba. So your wife is gone. The wife went. Mama Aliki said, the reason why he made reference of riba is that he has alcohol. It's haram. It's muharram. It's one of the major sins. Yes. In fact, it's, it's a punishable offense under Sharia. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never challenges whoever that is alcohol to fight him. <laughs> I get this thing. Halal never challenges him. But that person that takes river, Allah challenges him. Oh yeah. War against me. Declare war against me. That means a sin that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala challenges the offender. It shows that that sin is worse than the taking of alcohol. So we can see that how the Salaf will relate with the case of, of the Asian to the level that the Salaf always they, they were too conscious of themselves not to take one cup of one naira of anything of, of river. You know? Because any increase, where Sharia does not allow you to take increase, and you take increase, that is riba. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he saw one of his grandchildren, Hassan or Hussein. He took one date 
they be doing one they be doing as a child you know. puka, puka, puka. Throw, it, throw it out why because that date is one of the dates brought as sodako as the cat and the family of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Allah has forbidden upon them to take sadaqah or zakat. And Hassan and Hussein belong to the family. Do you get it now? So to see how the, the salaf, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the salaf, they were so conscious of taking it. Abu Hanifa rahimahullah, when he would go to, to ask for, for his money and someone that owes him, if the person provided him with See to see it, it will not see it. Enter now, take little water, it will not take. And that's the, the, the way of the salaf. So that shows we have to be very, very conscious of any act of usury. It may not be money, it is not the, the money that people use to take usury. It is not the money, it may be a service, it may be a kindness. Yes, maybe a service. Maybe a kindness so far that that service or kindness Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not permit it. In fact, we have some scholars that will say that any sin against Allah is riba. <laughs> any sin, any disobedience to Allah is what? Is riba. Is riba. riba. If you lie, that is riba. If you do this, that is riba. So, there is no any other evidence for anyone to say that riba is halal or is lawful. Riba is haram. Al-Mas'ala to Athaniya. Is it time? It's time. Okay. Adhan. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa sallam. Allah salatu wa salam ala rasulullah wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa wala Qala al-musadnifun al-mas'alatu al-thaniya al-hikmatu fi tahrimihi The rationale behind making riba to be haram What is the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make riba haram before this, we must understand that it is not everything that Allah says we should not do that we need to be asking for a reason why. It is not everything. Because sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may give us reasons for he to make some things forbidden on us. 
Sometimes he may not give us reasons. Sometimes Muhammad Sallallahu may give us reasons. Sometimes he may not give us reason. Sometimes scholars may made uh, may make their own effort, their own personal scholastic effort to bring out some reasons for why something is permitted or is not permitted, is forbidden or is not forbidden. But as, as a Muslim, we should not be waiting for reasons. Why? Why? So that we will not be part of some people known to be what? They call them wires. Why ass? I E R S. Why ass? Why? 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 And I say we, we should make it common. Why? So that should be Turaka. Why? 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 So everything, not everything, we have reason. Yes. If you are asked that, why? Why are you a man? What's the reason? You don't know. But you believe you are a man. And you know that you are a man. And without reason. So there are some things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will keep the reasons away from us. Because some people will say, that, what's the reason for this? Why this? Why this? So sometimes we may have reason. If you have the reason from the Quran, from the Sunnah, or from the scholastic effort. And sometimes, it may not, it may not have reasons. Yes, in one of our uh, classes, the uh, the prof the, the prof said the reason why the <laughs> it was a prof Islamic story prof said the reason why the Muslims perform ablution is that anybody that performs ablution and uh, the uh, uh, he washes his face, the hand that person will not contact any sickness. The prof said, if in fact those who always observe their salat five daily prayers they don't go blind or can follow you a christian just asked his question he said but Usas, why do we have the blind people more in the north <laughs> oh, for learning, what about that? see he's trying to bring reason for what for ablution another never said that mama never said that so why do we perform ablution? Why? To worship Allah. Is it not for, for us not to go blind? Allah, Allah never said that. Why do you worship Allah? To get rich? No. Allah never said that. So don't use the reason of your own to call people to Islam. Because if you use the reason of your own to call people to Islam and they get in and that reason is not reasonable to them, they will go back. Why do we fast in the month of Ramadan? So that our fat, our this thing will go. Allah never says that. The reason why we fast is what? That is the reason. So the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made two minutes, Abi, has made this to be unlawful. Is it time or two minutes? Two minutes, Abi. Okay. They said, Ata'amulu bi ribai yahmulu ala hubi that whoever that deals with usury that riba or with riba that person will love at that will love himself more than anything and that person will love to get rich by fire by force in any way even if those ways are against the law of allah subhanahu wa sharia of allah he will not mind when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made riba to be haram is a mercy to, to the human being to the servants of Allah it's a mercy because riba is a way to amass people's wealth without their consent that they are not happy with it one or without you giving them in return giving them something in return uh, back as in return no you collect the people's wealth and you eat it without you rendering any service or doing anything for them when someone comes to me you ah, allow the please i need twelve thousand for it can you have without his consent or it's oh, no problem allow i will pay twelve thousand you are taking people's consent when you are not given anything in return what are you giving in return 
because you get you get your ten thousand by uh, nera back. So for you to now have to, to make ten thousand to be twelve thousand, that two thousand on it is usury. Then they said, if al morabi ya kula muwala nas duna an yestafidu shi'an fi mukabilihi. Those who take riba, they take they eat people's wealth without give, giving them any benefit in return. كما أنه يعدي إلى تذاقب الأموال وزيادة على حساب سلب الأموال الفقراء. Sometimes it may be a way that people collect the money of any people, whether rich or poor, as we have it nowadays. When Nigeria is in is in very serious hardship, some people are making money on that through riba, through usury. Then they said, "Why you are with Al Murabi Al Kasal Al Al Khul? Whoever that is fond of taking riba." We be lazy. We be lazy because he will not do anything again because he has his way to make more money. That is haram. Well, if you had an ishtigal with Makasib al Mubaha and Nafia, he will not have time or he will, not, he will not love himself to involve in lawful businesses anymore. That riba, so far the riba is, is, is catering for his, uh, for his sustenance. That one is enough for him. Kama an Nafi'i qatna li maruf bin al nas. Then it caused a lot of disunity, disagreement, war among the people. Wasada li al fardi al qard al hasan. It blocks the way for people to learn others, hoping to have reward from Allah. That's the qard al hasan. It blocks that way. Wataqo wataqo mutabaqatu min al marabin bi hamwal al umma wa aktisad al bilad wa maasiyatu adima lillahi taala. Some people use this way of riba. To, to get people's money even to the level that the the general pause the public pause because when you're talking of riba it's riba is not just in between what you and other people it gets to some people and some some other high levels like government like uh, big big businesses whoever that takes riba even if the person is the richest allah we deprive him of of blessing of baraka Allah says ya muhaqullahu riba Allah we deprive whoever that takes riba the blessing of that property of that wealth wa yuribi as sadaqat but whoever that gives charity Allah will make his charity Allah will provide more for him not the person that takes riba and also pays zakat no this one it takes riba, then whatever the person has gathered, Allah will, will deprive him of the belly, or will deprive him, will buy that thing of the baraka of, of the blessings. While those who normally give charity to people, Allah will increase their weight. Inshallah, we continue next week. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with every one of us.